Hi guys, my name is Jorge again here from Source Electronics and today I would like to give you guys part two on how to build this cool uh, LED illusion mirror. Okay, so first of all, let's start with uh, step by step on how to do it and then I'm going to show you guys a little demo about it. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is uh, once you get your shadow box from your local um, hobby shop, what you want to do is you want to separate the back okay so first what you do is you're gonna have uh, small staples on the back of the shadow box and you're gonna want to remove those so you can remove the cardboard paper okay second once you do that uh, you want to remove the the hanger it has two small screws and then you want to um, remove the foam that was underneath the cardboard paper. Once you do this, you'll be able to see the mirror, okay? So you're able to lift the mirror and put it aside, okay? Now what you wanna do is you wanna tint your front glass, okay? Window tinting is uh, not that hard, but it does require some uh, instructions. First of all, what you wanna do is you wanna clean off your um, glass really well with a single-sided um, blade okay and once you do that is to remove all kind of contaminants and dirt after that what you want to do is you want to separate your tint from the plastic film okay once you do that uh, you'll be able to separate it you're gonna apply some soapy water you can use water and dishwasher soap to do this and you apply the dish the soapy water to the tinted film and to the glass now you place the tinted film on top of the glass and what you want to do is you want to uh, remove all the excess water from the uh, tinted film after you do that you want to use a single blade uh, to cut using the edge of the glass so you can have it cut to the specific dimensions of the glass after that, what you want to use is a small and flat uh, plastic cart to remove all air bubbles and all the little water bubbles are inside the window tint, okay? After you do this, you want to leave the window tint uh, to dry for a couple of hours before actually handling it, okay? So next, what you want to do is you want to remove the decoration from the mirror okay what we did was we first removed the uh, inner image that had foam and everything and after that we used a, a flat uh, paint scraper to remove the frame edges from the mirror after that you're gonna leave you're gonna see a silicon caulking around the mirror and this is kind of hard to clean what you want to use is your single blade really carefully so you don't scratch the mirror and also you want to um, use uh, Windex with ammonia so you'll be able to lift that silicon caulking easier. Once you do that you'll be able to clean the mirror and polish it to make it shiny and look like new. Uh, next uh, what you want to do is inside the frame you're gonna have this wooden separators you can use your flat uh, painter scraper to remove those now be careful because they do have uh, a few nails you might want to hammer them down so you don't get in uh, you don't get hurt okay uh, what you want to do next is you want to make your own separators okay we use balsa wood because balsa wood is easier to cut and more easier to uh, get the dimensions that you want. Uh, we cut two pieces that were 25 centimeters long and about 2.2 centimeters wide. And then we used another two pieces that were 24 centimeters long and 2.2 centimeters wide. Okay, this gave us the ability to put them in each side and for them to have uh, the most space possible so the mirror was as far as possible from the window tint. Now what we did was we placed a window tint on the frame and we, and we used a mild super glue to glue the sides of the separators to the frame and we put a pressuring clamp. Now remember to be careful and not applying the pressure clamps too close to the window tint 
because if you get any super glue on the window tint it might come off and damage your shadow box okay uh, next what you want to do is to apply the LED strip okay so for this DMX LED strip we used about 101 centimeters of LED strip which is actually like 40 inches long and what we did is we cut a small part of the shadow box from the side okay we cut about 1.2 centimeters wide and 2.2 centimeters deep that way you can run the LED strips through there and allow it to not make a bulk inside okay once you do this you want to uh, use a 3m tape from the led strip and tape it uh the strip centered between the mirror and the front glass so you'll have a better effect okay finally what you want to do is make sure you clean really good your your tilted glass and your uh, uh, mirror so you'll have the best reflection possible uh, what you want to do is you're going to place your mirror on top of your um, frame and what I use is some masking tape in order to hold down the mirror in place but also give me easy access in case I want to uh, adjust something okay and then as you can see uh, here I'm already using Madrix Neo to control it and here we're using a pixel by pixel control that is changing the colors okay so this is how the final product will look like all right guys well if you have any other questions make sure that you comment down below um, make sure you like us and subscribe and thank you for watching